Hey yo, it's me. So, as the title suggests, I am starting a new series called Real Views. So it's pretty straightforward. It's a review series focusing on TV shows and movies that are not only current, but old ones too. I'm not a professional movie critic, so my views are personal, but it's leaning more as a consumer rather than an enthusiast. Because honestly, who wants to watch a show and overanalyze it, right? i rather enjoy it. And don't worry, it's all spoiler free. But again, remember, these are just my opinions. So how about we start off with something very recent, Zack Snyder's Justice League. Justice League continues straight after the events of Snyder's previous film, Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice. With Superman dead, an attack is coming and it's up to Batman and Wonder Woman to gather individuals to help protect the Earth from this impending threat. This show is essentially a director's cut of 2017's Justice League. After years of pleading and petitions from the fans, Snyder has officially released his version of the film. If you have watched the 2017 version and hated it, like most people do, including myself, then this is his redemption. Snyder's cut is four hours long with nothing left out from his original vision. It's everything DC fans ever wanted it to be. To me, it felt like a big superhero themed opera. Big crescendos, cinematic moments pulled out straight from the comics, and of course, what's a superhero film without a proper big baddie? I think what most fans can agree on is the depth of the film. The 2017 release didn't give us any proper backstories to the characters that were introduced, such as Cyborg and Flash and Aquaman, who had a cameo in Batman vs Superman. These characters are a crucial part of the team, and not having proper backstories for them is just outrageous, especially when it comes to their first proper appearance in the DCEU. The cameo in Batman vs Superman doesn't count to me. Not only do the heroes get a backstory, the villain does too. Just like what Marvel did with Thanos in Infinity War, Snyder has actually made the villain, or villains rather, much more badass. And we get to see why they're doing this and not the typical world domination, total world domination speech. In other words, we get to see each character's motivation and how they have a part in all of this in this bigger universe that many hope DC will continue working on. In the 2017 version, the director who took over Snyder after he left production halfway to deal with the death of his daughter, Autumn, Joss Whedon wasn't the right fit to continue Snyder's work. Yes, he did well in Avengers and Age of Ultron, but taking his direction from Marvel to DC wasn't the right move. It was like mixing oil and water. Marvel films had humour, hope, and heroic moments that we can never forget. Assemble. While DC had a certain sense of realism, grunge and a noir feel to it, except for Aquaman though, because that film, to me, it was really colourful. I mean, just look at it. Those familiar with Snyder's previous work knows he's the perfect person to take up the mantle, just like how Kevin Feige did with Marvel. He stayed true to the fans, stayed true to the comics, and most importantly, stayed true to his work. Yes, I have to admit, 4 hours is a hell of a dedication for you to sit down and watch the entire film. But if you want vindication for this, then I encourage you to watch the film. For those who haven't watched the original, don't worry. This is the original. My final verdict of the film is a solid 9 out of 10. The reason why they give it a full 10 is because of its 4 hour runtime. And honestly, as a consumer, it kind of puts me off. Especially if you're kind of watching this film for the second time after knowing how the first one was like. To me, Whedon's version was like the backbone, but with missing parts. Snyder's was the whole entire body. I hope you guys out there who have yet to watch Justice League at all, don't worry, this is a good start. And um, for fans, this is what vindication looks and feels like. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below about what your thoughts of the film and if you have a suggestion of what my next review should be. Yeah, do the same thing. Do let me know. Till then, world's yours.